Are you looking for the best car vacuums? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best vacuums on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Black Plus Decker Dustbuster. Surprised? So were we. But there's no doubt this is the best car vacuum we tested. While it lacked Gold Star status in the suction and battery life test, the trusty Black Plus Decker Dustbuster reigned supreme in our real-life floor mat test. Black Plus Decker's renowned portable vacuum features a large mouth that had zero issues cleaning up all five of our test contaminants, just the sort of mess that's often found on a car floorboard. The opening was wide enough to avoid clogs and the collection chamber handled it all with ease. Dumping it is a breeze, too, without leaving anything stuck around the filter. We also like the design of the stand-up charging base. That said, it's not perfect. The battery life is low compared to the other contenders, so you'll have to hustle if you want to vacuum your entire interior. The dustbuster is also on the loud side, with a high-pitched whistle that might make your dog squirm. Despite those drawbacks, we chose the dustbuster as our best overall car vacuum for its successful blend of price, performance, and household versatility. At Number 2. Black Plus Decker Pivot 20 Volt. Black Plus Decker performed well in our tests, as shown by its occupation of the top two spots. Again, the wide-mouthed crevice opening did very well against our five contaminants, but the most attractive feature is the pivot function, hence the name. The long crevice opening, paired with up to 200 degrees of pivot angle, allows the Black Plus Decker pivot to get into typically unaccessible places. Battery life is SOSO, coming in at just around 11 minutes, and the noise level is pretty average. Our one knock on the pivot comes when dumping the dust. Due to its design, the small intake channel gets clogged with large particles quite easily as they try to get around the filter. Be prepared to empty it a few times if you're tackling big chunks. Aside from that, the pivot does an excellent job cleaning cars quickly, and the pivoting function offers unique angles. At Number 3. Milwaukee M18 Cordless Vacuum. Milwaukee really makes everything these days, so we had to try the Milwaukee M18 Cordless Vacuum. Right off the bat, you're looking at the winner of our battery life test, the M18 Red Lithium XC 5.0 beating all of the contenders with a healthy 23-minute, 24-second time. The collection chamber is nice and large, and emptying it is simple. The vacuum doesn't produce that much noise either, but all of the excess air blows out from the top, so expect a warm breeze as you use it. The crevice attachment is sadly skinny, and it struggled against Cheerios and Cheez-Its, as seen in the photo below. Weighing in at nearly 6 pounds, it does get the forearms burning after extended use, the other knock is you'll need Milwaukee's proprietary M18 battery and charger, sold separately. But if you already have other Milwaukee M18 tools, the battery works with this vacuum like a charm. For a long cleaning session, this is the way to go. If you're already a Milwaukee acolyte, you're good to go. If not, you'll need to purchase an M18 battery and charger separately. The same holds true with all rechargeable tool systems, components sold a la carte usually don't include a battery or charger. At Number 4. DeWalt 20V Max Cordless Vacuum. The DeWalt 20V Max Cordless Vacuum competed nicely with the Milwaukee Vac, but the yellow machine was edged out in certain areas. Notably, battery life from the 20V Max XR Lithium Ion was not as impressive as the Milwaukee M18s, but it was still good enough for a comfortable second in our testing. The DeWalt's crevice tool also struggled against large chunks, and emptying the vac was a tad trickier. However, the DeWalt is lighter, and more of the weight is over the middle of the machine, which helped with wrist fatigue. Our verdict? Get whichever machine you already have batteries for, the DeWalt and the Milwaukee are similar enough in price and performance. Even companies like Bosch, Makita, and Ryobi offer handheld vacuums along with the power tools in their respective proprietary rechargeable battery lines, and most offer optional power packs that increase runtime even further. These rechargeable battery systems really work, but they only make sense if you go all in on one brand. If you already own a system of cordless rechargeable Li-Ion hand slash power tools, then that's the brand you should go with when buying a car vacuum. They generally outperform household handheld vacs but require a proprietary battery and charger, sold separately. At Number 5. 
This works car vacuum cleaner. It's by far the best-selling car vacuum on Amazon, with more than 25,000 reviews and a 4-star rating. And it's extremely affordable, with a low retail price that's seemingly always on sale for even less. So we bought one and put it to the test. As you can see from the image below, it did okay with sand. Everything else? A complete and total failure. It'll suck up light surface dirt and debris on hard floors, but against anything else, or on carpet? Forget it. We narrowed its poor performance down to weak suction and a thin opening. The thing got clawed if it even smelled a Cheerio. There were some bright spots. It's small, light, and easy to use. It was the quietest of the bunch and quite easy to empty. And the 12V, 16-foot power cord means it's specifically for the automobile, RV, or boat, since it doesn't come with an adapter. That said, it's the ultimate irony, here's a car vacuum that sucks because a, it only works in the car, or RV slash boat, and b, it just doesn't suck. Considering its awful performance, cheap construction, flimsy materials, and that pesky, one-job power cord, we strongly advise that you pony up an extra 20 bucks and get a dustbuster.